In this video we are going to talk about most popular destinations in Italy. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. As a travel destination, Italy appears on many a bucket list as a coveted must-visit place. The rolling hills of Tuscany, the incredible art, architecture and history, amazing food and wine, and one-of-a-kind cities all combine to provide a little something for everyone. Unfortunately, to take it all in would require months of travel and a rather large budget. For most of us, this is simply not possible with just a week or two of vacation time. But it is still possible to explore this remarkable country in a limited time frame and with a limited budget. The mountain in summer is also an opportunity for the most reckless who want to try paragliding, free climbing, diving, mountain biking. The mountain in summer is therefore the right destination for those who love to enjoy the summer in idyllic places and get away from the crowding of the beaches. For lovers of the lake and unspoiled scenery, Lake Garda and Lake Maggiore are instead among the most beautiful and famous destinations, together with Lake Como. Those who prefer the Apennines for the charm of the places or the convenience can count on the equally enchanting lakes of Bracciano and Trasimeno. Here are the most popular destinations in Italy. Roman Forum, Rome Rome has no shortage of popular landmarks to see during your Italian adventure. The Roman Forum, although low on our list, is just as iconic as the rest. Visitors can walk the paths of the once-thriving main city center of the ancient Roman Empire. Crumbling buildings and statues still lie here, helping folk picture how this region once must have been. Visiting with a guide is recommended as no signs or information boards cover the attraction, with only the guide's vast knowledge of each stone stump or grassy region helping visitors understand what was where. Duomo di Milano, Milan It is one of the world's largest churches is the magnificent Cathedral of Santa Maria Nascente, also known as Duomo di Milano. Held in the bustling city of Milan, it is known for being one of the examples of the flamboyant Gothic style once popular in the 1300s. The complex architecture and art of the church have been created over six centuries, and it isn't even complete yet, with still areas of the building needing construction. It was a staggering number of statues, a grand total of 2,245 marble and 135 stone pinnacles. When visiting make sure to go see the ruby red light blob that marks the spot where one of the nails of Jesus' crucifixion was allegedly placed. Vatican City, Rome Hidden within the bustling city of Rome lies the Vatican City. An iconic destination said to be home of history's greatest works of art and a number of the most recognizable landmarks in the world. Listed as one of the most popular must-see sites in Rome, the Vatican City is bursting with incredible architecture, history, and art. As it is the smallest country in the world, measuring just over 100 acres, it is an easy destination to do in a day or two. Wander the art galleries, learn about the history, and discover the fascinating religious traditions which shape this region. Leaning Tower of Pisa The Leaning Tower of Pisa is one of the most recognizable landmarks in the world, listed on a mass amount of Pisa's postcards and advertisements. The buildings of the tower first began in the 1100s, work began on the tower in the 1100s, and the sinking began by the time the tower reached the third story. Before it was restored in the 1990s, it was predicted to completely topple over by the year 2000. Restoration work in the 1990s, it was predicted to topple over by the year 2000. Nowadays, visitors can go up the stairs of the tower, climbing up to see the stunning view of the city from the top. Many visitors travel to this tower for the iconic snapshot of them holding up the Pisa with their bare hands. The Blue Grotto, Amalfi Coast Along the edge of Italy's coast is an enchanting natural phenomenon named the Blue Grotto. Hidden in sea cave between the jagged rocks of the island Capri, the sapphire blue waters of the ocean glow in the dark. The reason for this natural spectacle is due to the natural light coming through a hole in the cave and reflecting up against the water so it seems as if it is glowing. Visitors cruise out in small boats and slowly entering the cave one by one by one, enchanting each tourist with the mesmerizing color. Pompeii. Step back in time and see the ancient ruins of Pompeii, listed as the second most visited place in all of Italy. This archaeological site is a world heritage site, showcasing the ruins of an ancient Roman city that was destroyed by the nearby volcano Mt. Vesuvius in AD 79. It offers guests a unique experience unlike any other, 
giving an insight into the way of life of this ancient society. Wander around the streets of Pompeii, entering into the buildings and seeing the ancient artifacts. The Canals, Venice. There is nothing as romantic as traveling on a gondola ride through the canals of Venice. Venice is a unique place to visit, with canals instead of streets, a tradition that travelers have been partaking in for centuries. Venice is a city of islands, and the canals have long been the city's main streets, connected by a labyrinth of narrow passageways. Lining the canals are old buildings that have remained relatively unchanged for hundreds of years, adding to the romantic charm. The Grand Canal is the most famous of these waterways and one of the most photographed sites in Venice. The best way to see many of the Grand Palaces, whose fronts face the water, is from a Vaporetto ride along the Grand Canal. The Colosseum, Rome Undoubtedly listed on every traveler's bucket list, this ancient landmark holds an incredible amount of importance to the city of Rome. It was once the amphitheater for the ancient games of Rome, such gladiator flights and even public educations. It was built in 72.a.d. by Empire Titus Flavius Vespasianus who commissioned the Colosseum as a gift to the Roman people to enjoy. The size of it must be seen to believed, as photos don't do it justice, it is so grand that it took 20 years for the entire building to be built. Florence This Tuscan gem is one of Italy's most charming cities. Split by the famed Arno River, the city has no shortage of attractions to see. Plus, wine lovers or travelers seeking a more rural escape can head off into the Tuscan countryside after exploring Florence. Florence's star attraction is its colorful and massive Duomo, which marks the center of this magical city. Art lovers can swoon over the famous David statue at the Accademia Gallery and other famous Italian masterpieces at the Uffizi Gallery. Fashion lovers can visit both the Gucci Museum and the Ferragamo Museum. Various bridges cross the River Arno, but make sure to see Ponte Vecchio, one of the most famous. Florentine cuisine isn't for the faint of heart. Specialties include wild boar pasta, tripe and bilberry steak, which is filet mignon topped with hot bilberry sauce. Don't forget to check out the Mercado Central for lunch, the perfect spot to sample some Florentine cuisine and shop for local products afterward. Emilia Romagna in a region as overwhelmingly foodie as Emilia-Romagna, it's only natural that its capital, Bologna, is dubbed La Grassa, the fat one. Many belt-busting Italian classics hail from here, including mortadella, tortellini and tagliatelle al ragù. Shop in the deli-packed Quadrilatero and day trip to the city of Medina for world-famous aged balsamic vinegar. Leave room for Parma, hometown of Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese and the incomparable prosciutto di Parma. Wherever you plunge your fork, toast with a glass or three of Emilia Romagna's renowned Lambrusco or Sauvignon Blanc. The must-see food producers are in the surrounding countryside, but the splendid monuments of Parma are worth a day's sightseeing, too. Dominating Piazza Duomo is the immense Romanesque cathedral, which contains frescoes rivaled only by those of the adjoining medieval baptistry, whose bare, minimalist exterior contrasts with the incredible colors from 13th and 14th century paintings that cover the interior. Far fewer visitors discover the peaceful 10th-century Monastero di San Giovanni, just behind the cathedral, and the vast Palazzo della Palata, which houses a jewel of Baroque architecture, the wooden Teatro Farnese. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.